Hello guys and welcome back to another one of my videos. On today's video we're going to talk about how to render and color different materials because um, it's really important when you draw in a car that when you do the body it looks like metal, when you do the tires it looks like rubber, when you do the, the aluminum it looks like aluminum or aluminium if you're in England. But uh, anyway, this is really important how to render the materials and today I'm going to give you the basics of why materials look the way they look. So when I was a kid, I always thought that the way your eyes worked, the way vision worked was like your body would send some kind of signal or sensor like a radar out and then it would like detect the objects and then bring it back to your brain and ju that just baffled my mind. I, I couldn't understand it. And I guess it was a lot simpler because basically your eyes are only receiving, they're not transmitting. So pretty much light that bounces from the sunlight, from a light bulb, from wherever the light source is coming, is gonna hit an object and then that light is gonna bounce right into your eyes and that's how your eyes can see objects everywhere. So it's really important that you understand that because the more that we understand how light works on different objects, the easier it's gonna be for us to render them. I think it's very important to understand texture. Texture plays a huge role on this. This is something that I wasn't taught, they didn't teach me at school. It's something that I just, started to pay closer attention and it makes sense. Maybe it's not the perfectly scientific version of it, but it makes sense. I'm gonna explain this on paper a lot easier.
so now I'm here in the car and this is how it looks through a mirror so the camera is pointed at the mirror you can probably see it on the on the reflection there and then you can see my face so actually I'm not looking straight at the camera but I'm looking straight at the mirror and that's the magic about it so the mirror is so perfectly smooth that whatever it's looking at it reflects all the light coming from my face into the camera is bouncing so perfect that there's no distortion to it and probably even if you see my glasses which are also reflective you can also see it's a perfectly smooth finish so the light is bouncing back you can probably see the camera and the mirror and everything that is in front of me so now in here you're looking at me actually through the door of the car so you're the camera is actually not pointed at me but it's pointed at the door of the car and if you see you can still see me but my tone is a little different just because it's picking up the paint from behind the clear coat light rays are bouncing but they're not bouncing perfectly there's a little bit of just distortion on the surface where you can see instead of being like perfectly smooth on my shirt and on my elbows you can see a little bit of curvy line to it and that's just because the light is getting distorted as it bounces off the car of my face to the car and into the camera this gives you a good idea of a semi-reflective material so cars are pretty reflective but not as reflective as a mirror so this is another good example this guitar has a glossy finish to it but you can still see the wood texture to it so you can see the light is bending following that wood texture and it's not a perfect reflection again you can see me but there's a little bit of distortion you cannot see all the little details you can see like the general reflection and also the black background helps a lot for it to pick up a lot of the colors that if it was a white background it would look like super pale but uh this is through a guitar so if you can see if i pull this back and rotate this my guitar is probably a little dirty but that's how you're looking at me through the reflection of the guitar for the last part of this video i'm going to show you how rubber kills a lot of the light a lot of the contrast but if you grab something like a coca-cola and you put a little bit on it it's going to do that effect that i was talking about how when you wax your car it fills in all the gaps and all the colors so now this starts to get a lot more reflective and actually see the light that is bouncing back it's giving you that shininess so actually now you can see especially on the letters you see has like less texture on it you can actually see what's happening behind it don't think that that does it helps the light bounce in a more predictable way and also it also seals a lot of the holes and caves where the light will just go in and get trapped in there so that's why before i put the coca-cola on it it was like pretty mad and there was not that much change of color and then when i added the coca-cola there's a lot more brightness to it so now if you see my range it goes from like almost white somewhere in here to like pretty dark over here so you get like that contrast and contrast is what makes things shiny so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't done so and now we're just looking through a window but um i'll keep doing tutorials about how light reacts also in clear surfaces is very important it's uh, very different from other surfaces but uh thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next week